island nation of Fiji. Surrounded by clear turquoise blue waters. But also her people and traditions. Over the centuries, Fiji has grown into a powerful and proud culture. The largest ethnic group in this island nation are the Fijians. But Fijians of Indian origin make up for a considerable part of the total population. The early ancestors of Fijian Indians were brought by the British from South and Western India as laborers to work on Fiji's sugarcane farms. This was when Fiji was a British colony. Some became merchants and established businessmen. Others remained in the land as free cultivators. Today, I see so many similarities in the traditions of Fijians and Indians that I can so easily relate to. Given the history that the two countries share, India is central to Fiji's bid in reaching out to non-traditional markets and tapping into India's huge outbound travel market. One of the first things with, that we had to do after a little bit of market research was that we needed to get better connectivity into, into India. And the first thing that came out of everybody's mouth was that, that it would be easier to come via Singapore. So we've established that. We're looking to India to grow as much as, uh, as we can. We have traditional markets of Australia and New Zealand. But this is one of the stronger growth markets that we have. Tourism Fiji and, and Fiji Airways have been working hand in hand uh, in particular to um, not only just uh, look at uh, what we've done with Singapore, giving access out of Singapore, but also Hong Kong as well. And uh, you know, to further partner, we've uh, also looked at uh, alliances, you know, which was our recent partnership with Jet Airways and other um, partners in India as well as in Fiji to ensure that we go out as a team and collectively um, work on a market that's very fairly large and, and, and is one of the biggest um, out, you know, growing outbound markets. We know that our product really resonates well with the Indian market, our beautiful resorts, our world-class experiences and of course the people and our world-famous hospitality. It really strikes a chord with the Indian market and for us our priority is letting people know that we're here and know that it's easier than what it's ever been to get to Fiji. I think the nice thing about uh, and I think the relatability between Indians and Fijians is that whenever you go to India you have this lovely feeling of warmth you know people want to feed you they want to make sure you're happy you're comfortable you're at home it's pretty much the same thing in in Fiji as well the culture is, is stunning uh, I love the fact that they're singing all the time and they're dancing and someone's got a guitar or something or the other and uh, they're always smiling all about welcoming you in and 
and making sure they share everything they can with you. And that's exactly what I've been feeling. I feel like I've been staying at a lovely, warm person's house and I just feel so welcomed and happy. I've had a myriad of experiences these last few days in Fiji. I've explored some of the most beautiful hotels in Denarau and Mommy Bay. Tried my hand at riding a jet ski. I've explored the South Pacific Ocean's beautiful waters and journeyed to the mystical Sawailao Caves. Man. Now it's time for me to bid farewell to my new friends at Mommy Bay and head towards Pacific Harbor. And my first stop is the beautifully rustic Nanuku Auberge Resort at the Pacific Harbor. I'm given a traditional warrior welcome. Wow! Thank you, Inaka. Fiji is renowned for its beautiful beaches, and Nanuku Aburge Resort gives you a beautiful view of the Pacific. This South Pacific paradise is the perfect getaway with Fijian style suites and villa accommodation and a beautiful private beachfront. So I'm in paradise again. We are actually in Pacific Harbour and it's absolutely beautiful. It's actually the adventure capital of Fiji. There's a lovely attraction here which is for you adventure junkies and thrill junkies out there. So there is a shark diving that's available at Fiji and this is not regular shark diving where you get into a cage, this is without a cage. So you basically dive down onto the seabed and you sit down on the seabed on your knees and you actually feed bull sharks. Sounds a little scary, but for people who love, you know, adventure and thrill and crazy things, it's pretty much not too far away from here. There's also an island right across from where I'm sitting and it's called Benga. And that's where the Fijian firewalkers hail from. And firewalking is a really big sort of um, tourist attraction here in Fiji and it's really famous and really popular. For now, I'm going to have a nice relaxing lunch, enjoy my lovely view, <sighs> and be the island girl I was born to be, I guess. Beyond Fiji's beautiful turquoise blue coastline is another one of Fiji's best kept secrets. The island nation's lifeline, her rivers. Shifting green hues replace the dominant blue of the Pacific. And the virgin white beaches give way to raw, lush, tropical rainforests. So I head towards the remote highlands of Viti Levu to explore the beautiful Navua River with her tropical wilderness and countless waterfalls. So it's an amazing, beautiful, sunny, lovely day as always in Fiji. I don't think there's ever been a bad day here. The weather's lovely. 
And we are right now at the river, the Nabua River, and we are about to head by jet boat to this lovely village called Rewanga. And uh, I've been told to expect this beautiful welcome, a very traditional uh, ceremony that's going to be done by the Fijians there, so I'm super excited. I don't really know what to expect, but I know it's going to be beautiful and very traditional, so it should be lovely. So we headed out for a jet boat ride on the beautiful river, steered by our captain, William. The Navua is one of the South Pacific's most pristine rivers. And before we head to the village, William guides our boat through some thrilling rapids and takes us to the Navua's magic waterfalls. So we're heading over to the waterfall now. Yes. This is the more greener side of the island. Uh, the Koya forest is very lush and it's a thick jungle here. Are there a lot of people who live by the river? Uh, yes, yes. There's villages still uh, live along the banks of the river. And uh, people live up here, just simple life. They live off the land. I was looking at this bamboo because it's very impressive. Yeah. And um, I was told by somebody that bamboo was introduced to Fiji. Yes. It's in, not native to Fiji. Yeah. In Fiji, we have eight uh, different types of bamboo. Right. And we use, uh, they are all different types and different sizes. Uh -huh. Some we use for the wall for our huts, which I will show you at the village. Okay. And uh, this type, here, this one here is used for making the bili bili, the raft. And it floats very well in the water. The Magic Waterfalls are Navua River's biggest waterfalls. They are absolutely breathtaking. That's amazing! So what's the name of this waterfall again? Magic Waterfall. And the Fijian name? Wainikavika. Wainikavika. Wainikavika Falls. Wow. It's majestic. Yeah. Beautiful. When there's a lot of rainfall, that can rise 40 feet, and the waterfall is about five times bigger. Oh my gosh, wow. After the beautiful magic waterfalls, it's time for me to experience the Billy Billy Raft. This is how the Fijians travelled before roads were developed and motor vehicles and motorboats were introduced to the island nation. And it's a great way to experience a lazy trip down the river. I can't wait to experience the local village life. So I thank William for his time. Enjoy the rest of your Absolutely. And head towards Rewanga village, where I get a traditional bula welcome by the warriors of the village. Fijians have always held their customs and traditions very close to their heart. And a visit to the Fijian village is the perfect way to experience these traditions. Soccer love soccer!
The kava ceremony is an important aspect of visiting a village. The villagers grind the kava and strain it through a cloth into a large wooden bowl. The ceremonial kava is offered to me as the chief of the team. And then to the chief of the village before it is offered to the rest of the guests. A traditional Fijian society is based on communal principles derived from village life. villagers share the obligations and rewards of community life. Ensuring of belonging, security and an identity to its people. There was one more unique ancient Fijian tradition for me to witness. So I head towards the Pearl Resort at Pacific Harbour. The very elegant sun-drenched resort is an idyllic escape for tourists, surrounded by lush tropical landscapes and an endless view of the beautiful Blue Pacific. So we're at the Pearl Resort and it's a beautiful view. We're about to experience the sunset. It's almost about to set completely. And uh, I'm going to be witnessing the firewalkers who hail from the island that's right across. That's Benga. And uh, they hail from this tribe called the Sawau tribe. And uh, it's the men that come from Benga that can do this from this tribe. <laughs> Fijian fire walking is an ancient ritual. According to legend, centuries ago, a Sabah warrior fishing for eels saved the life of a spirit god. As a reward, the warrior was granted the ability to walk on fire without being harmed. Today it is believed only the members of the Sabao tribe, who are the descendants of that warrior, have the ability to walk on fire. And they hail from the island of Benga on the south coast of Viti Lebu. <laughs> and what a way to end this beautiful day. with a little bit of song and dance, the traditional Fijian way. Fiji has the perfect tropical climate, perfect for a luxurious day of golf. So I'm making my way towards Fiji's famous golf haven, the picturesque Natadola Bay. Nestled in 35 acres of tropical gardens and protected by a reef, the Intercontinental Fiji Golf Resort and Spa in Natadola Bay boasts of one of the most beautiful settings among Fiji's resorts. This luxury retreat has some of the most captivating and magnificent views in the South Pacific with each of its restaurants designed to give you an endless view of the pure white sands and azure waters of the Natadola Bay. So I'm at the Intercontinental Golf Resort and Spa and it's absolutely stunning here. The view is outstanding. And I'm actually at the Navo restaurant, which is overlooking the Navo Island right across from there. And this is situated at the Natadola Bay and actually has one of the best beaches in the world, one of the top 10, and it's stunning. I mean, I can see why it was voted among the top 10. And it's beautiful, it's so peaceful and relaxing, and 
Uh, the way the, the restaurant is designed is pretty much to get every possible view. And uh, oh, I'm just, I'm in heaven right now. It's absolutely stunning, it's beautiful. A five minute drive from the resort takes me to a championship golf course on Fiji's Coral Coast. The Natadola Bay Championship Golf Course is one of the finest golf courses in Fiji. And it blends world-class golf architecture with the dramatic and beautiful landscapes along the Natadola beachfront. There is still one last thrill to experience. And one last fear to conquer. So before my Fijian sojourn comes to an end, I make my way towards Fiji's first zipline tour operators at Momi Bay. This zipline offers spectacular wilderness setting with a beautiful view of Fiji's rainforests and the ocean. We're at Zip Fiji, which is one of the most famous zip lines in Fiji. And it also has one of the tallest ones, which is about 480 feet, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It's got about 16 lines altogether. It runs for about five kilometers, which is quite a bit. And I've heard you have an amazing view of the ocean, of the Pacific Ocean. You also get to see Momi Bay and also the Marriott that I was staying at. I've been listening to everyone swinging around like mini Tarzans. <laughs> screaming while they're doing it so they're obviously having a good time so i think all that's left to do is to get over my fear of heights and get geared up and get onto one of these things let's go our instructors help us gear up and take us to the safety drill <laughs> yeah. and then we make our way towards the first sip And while I do the first few zips in tandem with the instructor. I mustered up the courage to do the next one all by myself. I have never done this before my entire life. And this is my fourth. This is my fourth zip line. I've got this awesome man behind me who has been killing it. Yeah. So tell me again, sir. Am I okay? What okay. do I do? Leg straight. He's been okay. Leg straight. Leg. You're a pro now. I'm a pro now. Yeah. And with the last few instructions from my instructor, I'm off. Straight your legs. I'm gonna do this. Excuse the screaming. Sticks <laughs> <laughs> <Just> landing. landing. <laughs> As I leave Fiji, I can't help but reminisce about how for these past few days this island nation has become a home away from home. With its warm people, their amazing hospitality, the island's ancient history, all those crazy adventures. <laughs> Fiji 
Fiji is where I have definitely found my happiness. Vinaka Vakalevi. This journey has made me absolutely fall in love with Fiji. And I cannot wait to come back for more.